We'll start with a, just a little piece before the combination we did. And here I would like you again to find more precision on organizing the, the channel for your energy. Will it be a spiral? Will it be a, a linear movement? Will it be back and forward? And uh, let's say uh, one of the images you want to have is, I know, let's say somebody like pulling the hand and you want to trick a little bit by letting go and then pull it back. So for example, yeah. So the muscle alertness to control if somebody pulling out and then if you decide to let go, you're ready to, to claim it back. Uh, so this little release and holding on, release and, and bring back. So in our actions, for example, let's see what footwork we want to do and, and use this idea of muscle coordination. So we'll do... We stay on the flat foot and we have all the foot on the right. And we do just a kicking action to the right. One and two and three. And sharp, sharp. One here, figure Two, three. Sharp, sharp. One and two and three. And sharp, sharp. Figure One. To change weight. Cha cha one left, two left, three and cha cha one, two, three, cha cha one left, two and three and cha cha one, two, three, cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one, two, three, cha cha one and two and three and one, two, three, three and cha cha one, two. Three, chapter one, and chapter one, two, three. Yeah? Are we clear with the pattern? Almost, almost. So let's just do a couple more times. Where, where this image of the of the muscle releasing and claiming back? When I'm staying here, let's say the nature of my of standing leg pressing from your left to right, yeah? Left leg pressing the right. This is a, a constant thing. But my uh, right leg resisting, holding its barriers or holding its, and then deciding to let go and uh, claim it back. Wow. So, so this is where the action is, is happening. So the knee will operate through the quick straightening. One, what else you can think? Um, um, so the muscles which you will use to, to roll forward. So some contraction in, your, in the area of the front of your ankle. Yeah, so we either, when we're pointing, we're working the muscles on the arch, or when we're flexing, we're working the muscles here, yeah, to flex. So when I go this way, I have a little bit of a flexing. So feel that this is a condition you want to keep as a, as a major, and then a little moment of releasing to, uh, to a more flat position on your ball of foot and then rolling it back to the bed. Re releasing uh, the roll of the back uh, on the big toe or claiming it back. One, two, three. So I'm trying to crack something with my heel. There would be a little padding or something like walnut. What? I want to crack it and bring it back. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. At the same time, this energy coming through the knee straightening is pretty intense. So I want to be sure that this area uh, ready to absor absorb. Here is absorb. Okay. 
So when the knee is straightening, this side working pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Ready, doing it together. Pressure to the ball of the foot and straightening the leg under the pressure. One, two, three, collecting. Here, when we're collecting, of course, we're using the grip on the floor. And cha, cha, one. And here, the grip is important. We just translate it in a different way. We translate into figure eight, extra push to deliver the weight, and then stay like pulling in to do back replace, cha, cha. And here, immediate straight bend, inside edge, big toe, hip, 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 collect, cha, cha, push, stop. And now use more gentle, let's say through the knee straightening, the energy is more clicking through the oblique and glue, the energy is more round. Round, round, pushing from the left, sorry, pushing from the right, collecting to the left, cha, cha, quick placement. Uh -huh. So secure your, your hip on the left. Uh, Suzanne. Flat heel on the left, ball of the foot on the right. Yes, yes, stay good and hip, 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 collect. Cha cha, figure eight, figure eight, figure eight, back replace, punch, 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 back replace, figure eight, collect, back replace, punch, 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 back replace, figure eight, collect. Yeah. Great. So we'll just do a couple more times. Practicing a sense of limitation. So we're not going anywhere. And the moment I'm allowing the straightening, I'm claiming it back right away. So the inner thigh, this idea between biceps and triceps can be also between your inner thigh and outer thigh. So I, this part want to go straight. But this one is holding. So as soon as I let my butt to take advantage, what I immediately claiming back with the inner thigh. What? 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 Yeah. So think of this force is dominant, and it, this force is playing with your butt, saying, "Okay, you can have it, but I will pull it back anyway." What? What? Yep. Ready. Time to the right. Drop three key chains. Ready? And one, and two, and three, and cha cha one, two, three, cha cha one, and two, and three, and cha cha one, two, three, cha cha one, and two, and three, and cha cha one, two, three, cha cha one, and two, and three, and cha cha one, two, three. Okay, not bad. Ready to witness your fabulous performance now? And as you're getting a little tired or a little more into this, try to feel the efficiency. Are you not traveling too much back and how, let's say, back replace side should feel without doing any extra movements? So your weight is right there, ta, ta, ta. Tata waka tika waka tika waka yaka wam pam pam. So everything is well connected between the floor and your center. Ready. So if you're starting on one, I'll give you one, two, three, four, and you start on one. One, two, three, cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one, two, three, cha cha one and two and three and uh -huh. One more time. So maybe right, 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 replace, right, left, right. Cha cha left, 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 cha cha left, right, left. Ready. One, two, three, cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one, two, three, cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one. Two, three, cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one, two and 
two, three, cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one, two, three. Okay. Um, so, uh, Wendy, if we'll just start with you, you have a little, um, your personal mistake here. You get in one contraction and you stuck in it. So think that this contraction is like, I know if I ask you to bounce a, a ping pong ball, one, two, three, four, it, it keep falling down. So if it will stuck in the air, you would, oh, it's an interesting physical phenomenon. What's happening with the gravity here? Um, so you just bouncing it to, to go up and bring it back. So basically I, I miss the moment where the line of your skirt is tilting from high left side, high left to low right. So this is your initial, this is your default position. And then the right side goes higher and drops lower. Wa, ta, ta. And you have this moment when it's, it, it's like, it's lost its way back. Be sure that you know the way back. One and two and three, and, yeah? Mm -hmm. It's way back. Um, Just one little image I made here, a little strange, but so if we'll put our fists against one another and we'll compress and we'll, we'll go through the compression to the moment of release. So we feel how compression can, so we don't really need to do much of this. The pressure inward kind of accelerating. So, or vice versa, if we have a limited space, and we'll press in, you will feel how it kind of falling in place. Yes, when it's from compressed, finding its space. Feeling. So this is about the idea between the floor and your pelvis. So when the knee is straightening, it's trying to fit itself into the, into the, Great position. What, what, what. So this is, I know my pets are not exactly representative, but this push of your knee in the straight position goes against the resistance. And when it's overcoming, yes, it needs to look at a little step here. Yeah. Uh, one, two, one, okay. Don't change so much as that in my So it's not, it should be continuous. The biggest common thing uh, I see, Marilyn, Jean, Suzanne, uh, Deborah, <laughs> all my Snow Whites today. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm positively lost. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know that in Russian folklore, uh, there is always a uh, as, as Santa Claus and his uh, granddaughter. Uh, so there's always a, a male figure and a female figure. So Deborah saw it in all the decoration, it's a so Snigurochka. So she, she called Snigurochka. Snake for snow 
things like a snow white. So what's all my snigurochkas have common as a mistake? Spreading the weight a little bit too much. So the stemming leg and the pressing leg become too similar. One, two, one, two, one, two. It is, it is have, it have to be a little more security of one leg and then anchoring here. So you see that there is always more commitment here and visiting outside by my butt. But generally the line of my shirt is closer to one leg, one, two, and the base is traveling. Yes, yes, yes. And then if you will be just locking your right knee now, lock, lock your right, right knee. Lock, bend and lock it. Can you stay sideways? Yes, good. And one, uh, no, you never, okay. <laughs> Camera zoom on Nikolai's butt. And I'm sorry if it's, I know it's not representing here. Maybe I'll just change it. So you see, I'm getting to this place one, one, one. When this part is bouncing the balls, if I would, no, I can, I can hit the tennis ball across the net with this hamstring. What, what, what? Yes, good, good. So, Jim, yes, but now. Can we have it done with a little isolation so it's not punching you forward? So you see how this side is compressing one and one and one. For the next one, it will be more connected. But for this one, it's more isolated. Yeah, I totally feel myself like a like a belly dancer. Yeah. Next, next time, yeah, next time I put a what a belly, a belly ring. <laughs> okay, okay, so let's do one more time this combo. That will be looking so you don't make an even split, you have one dominant leg. And when you do your rhythmical thing, they look rhythmical. Uh huh. Gene, feel like you're somebody punching you up. Okay, do this. Be, become a very um, grumpy, grumpy Snow White. Okay, we need to fly and give all these gifts, but I don't give a sh shit about it. <laughs> Ready, ready. And uh, sorry, I'm on time. Yeah, do it together. And uh, one and two and three and touch on one, two, three, touch on one and three and touch on one and three and touch on one. time or maybe a few more until I see all of you doing perfect. Ready? Two, three, four, one and two and three and cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one 
two, three. Yes, yes. Okay, what do we do? One, two, three. Find some isolation. You know how you want to present your upper part more stable. One, two, three. So the upper, you is thinking about communication between your shoulder blade and your hip. So for every step, there is adjustment. Yeah, not, not wobbling. When I'm counting faster, try to notice that on the third hip, one and two and three and you have more to do. So here just bounce a little recover, but last one bounce and full collection. So be sure that you are ready with your inner thigh, with your core. Para, ri, ra, ra, para, pa, pa, da, da, cha, cha, easier. Whoop. So a little quicker change to the collecting side. So let's do it again. Here, right, 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 left. Cha, cha, left, right, left, right. Cha cha left 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 right cha cha pam pararam pam pam couple more times ready so that be a little more presentation please yeah so then think of inner side like you wanna I don't know put some some parmesan into pasta so they need to yeah ready one two three cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one two three cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one two three cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one two three cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one two three okay we're about to be qualified to go to the next one, but not yet. <laughs> there is one more common thing. The stability and behavior and the supporting function on your standing leg. If at the moment of punch, you allow it just a little opening, you are doomed. You would look like some disco or like you are in a in a gif, in a, in a boomerang, what, what, what? <laughs> um, so you want, you want to be, let's all think what kind of small contraction in your inner thigh can, <clears throat> I don't know how close you can see my leg, but I want you to feel this tiniest, inverted direction so the moment i'm punching into my hip this is an area supporting me and you see that it's bending very little i'll, I'll try to do and and from the front so if you, i'm, I'm Turning my knee right into the camera. Camera, yeah, something like this. L1. So you see that this, the tiny change inward. Wah and wahi, wahi. Ta, ta, ta. Yeah, so let's just see that our knee is not going lead like forward, only for it's not going outside, then it goes a little bit inverted. What, 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 what? Yes? Ready? No, Deborah, you're standing, I was looking outside now. You was doing like this, and your left knee was out. One, two. Yes, yes, this is better. Yes, this is, yeah, maybe it's, Feel like too much, but this is where it looks like energy is controlled between your thighs. Ready? One, two, three, cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one and 
two and three and cha cha one two three yes much better maybe Suzanne more accuracy Jean you did a good discipline but you stop your pelvis from doing a little tilt so now if I just lifting the camera a little bit up this discipline is not stopping me from allowing for a little displacement and then moving keeping my butt just slightly slightly in the back what so it have more freedom of going yeah. and return return to its original one two three uh-uh your now your right uh, uh ankle is not functioning to return you so feel that it's steering you back in place you're challenging it and saying no come down sit one 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 this inner thing yeah it's like on the way in it's not delivering its force to your to your left but the so one two be sure that it's coming back turn into the last step. I didn't catch your feet. Yes, of course. So human break is the one before. And then here you go quick into the check. And basically the bend leg behind you is your short axis. So this is the leg you're using to do uh, for your foot it's only one eight. So the front foot places half circle around, but for your head, it's 360 because you're turning it and looking across the right shoulder. Yes, and check, 
and front leg is a significant enough pressure for you to pivot and go this way. Yeah? I just don't see your feet. I'm just going to do it a couple of steps away from the screen. Yes. So I can tell if it's right or wrong. And two. No, no, no. One more time. Axis. Axis is something not moving. So your right leg is axis. You're turning around right leg. Yes, yes. And there is a weirdness that this leg stays open and then it closes and moves out. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two. So what's spot turn? And if you do it in the rumba, how you do it in the rumba? You'll go forward, replace, and then back step or side step, whatever we decide. Two and three. So in church, it's same, just faster. You don't change full weight. You only go up with one faster. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ready. From back, replace. One and two and three and cha cha. One and two and three and cha cha. One and two and and cha cha. One. Yeah. So let's say, Jim, especially on the way back, I want to see how the space between your center and let's say your sternum is more adjustable. So how going into the long step, let's say, you can feel that leaving the chest forward is not preventing you from developing a much deeper line from ankle to the groin. Uh, so you can still have your chest trying to press the front leg. Cha, same here. Again, developing. Then for the back step, same thing. Chest staying, but without losing connection, I can develop way further with my step and here I can go through the sense of connection without going too neutral because I know the next step have a forward aspect to it. So I will try to stay connected, but explore the space between sternum and the pubic bone. Or my complex. Yeah? Let's do it. After, even here, when we're starting uh, this uh, stick chaser, cha, cha, one, projecting the chest, but keeping your feet. So the back two, three, and this leg now is going out far. I can move it from the head and move it back. So we going on the chest. Cha, cha, one, two. Somebody holding you like it's like stuck to the floor. So the action on your standing thigh needs to be a little more aggressive and more demanding. So when you allowing when the leg is happening unstuck, that it needs to look more impactful. So charge your water here two. Because of one, I'm working with my standing leg more aggressive. The release of two should look more sharp. Two and three and check, sharp one. So always think how standing leg can accumulate the force, which then would be expressed through the moving leg. Yeah? 
Ready? One, two, and three, and two. Okay. Right there. Right there. Yes. One and two and three and cha cha one and two and a cha cha one and two and three a cha cha one give one break and spawn two. Please, please put your arms somewhere where they can participate and help you a little bit separate from the whole process. So we get ready here, setting up your right arm to be very helpful. To uh, accentuate this step. You do that here. Two, yeah, placing your foot across. Three, it's supposed to help you to work to prepare the shape for that long step. Okay, ready. Uh huh. Up. Jim, can you just turn a little diagonal? Other diagonal. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Ready and one and two and three and cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one. Okay, this looks not bad at all. One more time, please. Uh, not looking down. We can feel the grip. We can use it, but we don't have to look down to, to benefit from it. And one and two and three and cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one. Yes, very nice, Suzanne. The first steps are good, especially after the backlog step. Try to keep searching for the grip and for a little grinding inside. So the last three, just a little relaxing. Let let's do it again. So after the back long step, it is same and 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 collecting, going through the middle of your body. One and two and three and cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one, two and three and cha cha one. Okay, so then one more time, back long step. Do long step back, uh, long step, uh, other long step. Lock step back here, two and three, and cha cha stop. So now, call, <laughs> think that I'm holding your leg. So use your belly to pull the toe in and place it. No, place it, it's slow step. Back on two is slow, cha cha one, pull it in and do two, place it, three, place back on two. Stop now. Think that somebody holding your left toe and collect it on long step, cha cha one, two, collect in three, collect in cha cha one, three, and yes, every time you're collecting, there is an impact after this, and three, and cha cha one, exactly, and then cha, too far, you know that you. Working hard on your left, but you also send a fair amount of energy to your leg and to your chest. Shut. So this leg immediately equipped to carry your weight. You send it a little bit too far, and it's not giving you the right thing. Baby, you struggle a little bit from this. Um, uh, a lack of turnout in the moving leg. So every time when you go with the active rotation of the standing leg, the moving leg goes a little bit stressed like this rather than into the feeling of open thigh. And now you ready to, to drag it through the sense of like this, the legs are might be tight. But if you do this, they connect it without tight. They have a muscle working to create a certain direction, not just to be fast. So this is wrong compared to wa, 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 wa. Yeah? Yes. That's much better. 
That's much better. Ready? Do it again from back in place, Marilyn. Your turn. One and two and three and cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one. Super, Marilyn, very good. I, I'm very happy to see most of it. I would only say try to, if your activation in the legs would be a little earlier, slightly earlier, then you might have a little bit less look of dropping and a little more look of supporting. So if my legs are lazy, I can drop on the other side. But if right as I'm doing my pendulum, the legs are active, it would feel more in your butt like unscrewing something from the floor turning and, and picking it up at the same time. Let's do from beginning. So we need to be sharp here and then we're ready to, to move to our piece. Yeah, I'm with you. Two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and cha-cha, whoa, whoa, whoa. Cha-cha, one, and two, and three, and cha-cha, three. Lift, ready, cha cha, forward, forward, side, ta ta ta, and back, side, work it together. Yeah, good. Uh, let's do it with music pointers. No, my singing, sorry, the battery died. So I'm just counting quicker for you. And you all have music. When you finish the class, please play it and, and, and do a little bit of uh, solidifying. So whatever you practice, you can just do it on your own testing. If it's working and try slow charge and then fast charge. My count, ready. Uh, one and two and three and cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one two three cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one two three cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one and two and and cha cha one okay not bad so look for the this for the first one I'm a little I'm not full on one side. I'm slightly in between, but not in the, in the middle. What I did, I did, here I'm placing myself in the middle, that center. Hip, hip, and now push from your foot. So here will be cool, uh -huh. Jean, so uh, this nice white line of fur, when it stays this diagonal, I want it to stay this diagonal for just a little longer when your left foot is pushing, yes. And then you change it. Cha cha here, waka tika tika, cha cha. Top of it is neutral, new, and then when it's on the here, the foot is pushing, and you just have it a little longer. So it's one and two and three, yeah. quick enough, but not not too soon, so that you don't use the opportunity of your foot to give you its force. Uh huh. Deborah, think please about the like similar to what I said to Marilyn, especially when you get to the second part. Alertness of your legs, how they cha cha helping you to. Not to miss opportunities. Here I'm using this to move forward, and this one is ready to activate when I need it. Okay, what I, what I want to say. So you're placing your right leg forward now. When you're placing it, is your left hip is still held, held captive by your left lens, or it's already released? Still held captive, then by the right side then by whatever side you're moving. 
Yes, yes. Ready from beginning, please. Looks like you need some severe. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Ready or? Oh, that's just yeah. Okay. A little crap. Ready, ready. Doing it. One, two, three, cha cha, one and two and three and cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one and two and three and cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one and four and four and cha cha, one and two and three and cha cha, one. Yep, this was very nice. One more time. Susan, I know it's challenging. But try to not to lose the, the tone. It's like if um, I know this, we have this little green ball that the one which weighed know, eight pounds. And if I ask you a simple thing to move it left, right, left, right, left, right. If it's empty hands, it's easy. But if it's an eight pound ball, one, two, one, two, it's different thing. So think that you keep holding some heavy thing between your thighs. Da 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 that you're always responsible to bring it back, bring it back. Yeah, a little activity, resting. Different form of movement, but with the same um, intensity of keeping it connected. Yes, yes, it's not always happening like this. And I, I can see even through the imperfect camera and not exactly high definition streaming. I can see the shape of your muscles, shape of your quads, shape of your knee when you're doing it. Or sometimes it's just the leg, beautiful, but not athletic enough. Yeah. Um, gene, uh, the habit a little bit of, of holding down around your belly. Think of, of something maybe decorative, which are one or just how cactus arms help you to, to engage your legs and your shoulder blades. Again, it's not to hold like this, but to try and seek, uh, preserve the feeling. So when you do cactus, remember the feeling under the shoulder blades, between the shoulder blades. That's it. Now see if you can go and many as many places as you want get the same feeling or remember that it's there. Ready? Here's so I can feel a little breathing and a little energy. You know, the three of you, but you can enough to light it up. Ready. One, two, three, cha cha one, two and three and cha cha one, two, three and cha one, two and three and cha cha one, two. And cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one and two three and cha cha one two and three and cha cha one. Pretty good, pretty good. Melissa, uh, uh, I want to see a strong collection, and I want to see more fierce energy back and side. So this feel like a little bit stuck in, in the mud or in the sand, like. Sh so how you can feel prepared for the side step, not going too far, and really, really strong support from the front ankle. Yeah, well, that's it. Um, Joseph, when you go to the break, walks, it will look like you, I don't know, get cramped or thrown or something. You can use, let's say, how big the step is. As big as your same leg, can push you. Yeah, of course, in the, in the slow motion, it's a little strange the, the big step. But if your leg is pushing, you can decide where to place yours. Where to place You can decide on the go. Don't decide before you use your right leg strength. Yeah? And here, cha cha one. Hey, you might expect to make it shorter, please. Don't stop your left leg from pressing its, its energy. And, okay, ready. A few more attempts. So you're ready for the challenge of the rhythm of the music. 
when you will play it after the class. One and two and three and cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one two three cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one two three cha cha one two three cha cha one two three cha cha one yes very good very good um, baby more discipline in your thighs and placement of the foot good uh, Jean, arms are open. I like it. After the long step back, it looked like I know. Again, I still have a, a mystery how much space you actually have because sometimes you move freely, but sometimes you feel like you're very restricted. So after the long step, I just hope that you can go a little more spacious back, a little more spacious um, development of, of the step through the strength of the standing leg. Yeah. Ready, Wendy, I was surprised to see how cruising you are. Like on this uh, forward long step, you're doing very good. The, the whole idea of grip and using your muscle strength to, to explore directions is, is really making a difference. Ready. And Suzanne, checking your, the shape of your quads. Yes. Ready, a one and two and three and cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one, two, three, cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one, two, three, cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one, two and three and cha cha one, yep, and two and three and cha cha, sorry, yes, um, was good. Hip shake was a little limited. You definitely can do a better change in your pelvis. So the tone is good. Yes, 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 look. So whatever side you're going, we release and lift it. Yeah, one, two, whoop. So the reverse movement is really important. Yeah, one, two, three, yes. So think that this is your default position. Then you're releasing it. It's not really a full pickup on the opposite side. Well, it's a tiny pickup. Yes. Maybe your left thigh was wobbling, especially in your today's outfit. Might seem too provocative. Yeah, be sure that you are very, very elegant, very well mannered Snow White. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes, um, good. Uh, yes, one more time, please. Counting quick. Thighs are closed in. Yes, ready. One, two, three, cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one, two, three, cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one, two, three. Cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one, two and three and cha cha one, two and three and cha cha one. Yes, okay. I, I can say that you're doing a great job, Wendy. A little, a little limitation mobility here, but it, it is fine. Then when you go to your hip rocks, you're doing them better. But this is a tricky one, we'll try to talk about it in a, in a private situation. Yeah, I tweaked my knee at the beginning of class. I think before you said, keep your knee forward. I somehow, so I've been careful. Okay, yes, definitely you should be careful. And Marilyn, just the whole thing of you in control of your balance, your rhythm, um, definitely showed me that floor is not, uh, is not, unknown for you any longer. You know the floor and you know that it can be resourceful. Uh, I definitely remember you being absolutely unaware of the help the floor can give you in first staying strong and tall, but then most important, how it can be used to pull and push from it, yeah? Okay, uh, Gene, the side steps was, was better. It was just how the freedom of the pelvis giving you a little tilt so you can go a little further.
further on your two and three and cha cha one. Yeah. Okay, last time, all of us, pull out. One and two and three and cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one, two, three, cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one, two, three, cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one and three and cha cha one, two and three and cha cha one. Woohoo! And here we are finishing our 2020 series of master classes. Um, I haven't put any record, but I think we, what if we have usually six a week, then I think we, we run probably about 100 classes or maybe more, I'll, I'll give it a look. But um, in Russia we're saying, um, water cuts the stone or shapes the stone. So basically that we're doing same thing repetitively, thinking about what we're doing, either my guidance and things are changing. Whatever problems you had in March with your dancing, I'm sure all of you know you're way ahead now in your understanding of body, in the way you can use your body, have a certain moving task and, and achieve, learn the combo in one lesson, uh, be more grippy, be more fast, be more stable after the turns, more connected. The subject little by little settles into your muscle memory. And now when you just go to dance, you will use a better, better patterns than in the beginning of the year end. Thank you for good work. Thank me for directing you. Yes. And um, let's.